welcome to my channel i'm april and today i'm going to be making a cosmic fairy using a monster high guild doll as a base first i'm going to remove the factory paint with acetone then place in boiling water pop the head off and peel away the scalp since I want a black base for this design, I'm going to dye the doll. I'm using eye dye poly as it is perfect for synthetic materials. Empty the dye into a pot of warm water. Preferably without dropping it like I did. Then add the colour intensifier. Once it's boiling, add in the doll body and then the head. Remember to move the body around and bend the joints so that everything gets fully covered. After a few minutes, remove and then leave to dry. And now we have a solid black base to work on. Some areas are more stubborn, like the hands, but most of it's covered really well. The hip joints are a little loose, so I'm going to take a small elastic band, wrap it around the leg. Roll up to the hip joint and work it into the gap. Now the legs are nice and tight and can hold a pose much better. Next I'm going to add all the body mods using epoxy sculpt. I'm aiming to create a body that appears as if it could be constructed or enveloped by some kind of astroflora. Lots of vines, branches and organic shapes. Don't forget to add wire supports for any appendages, especially on the head with the soft vinyl.
Foil is really handy for adding bulk under the clay. I also drilled holes into the back and to the hands. Kind of strange that the inside of the hands dyed black, but the outsides didn't. <laughs> then using super glue, I attached some magnets. This is so I can add a tail and some little planets later on. Because of the sculpted hair, they are super top heavy. So I'm gonna add some tiny weights to the feet to try and balance them out. I think these are tire balance weights, but any weights would work fine. Then sculpt over the top to conceal them. I also want to add a sculpted torso piece later on, so I'm going to wrap a spare body in cling film, then create the design using more epoxy. And once it's fully cured, you can carefully peel away from the body. For the tail, I attached a magnet to a length of wire, bent into shape, then filled out with epoxy. We have a magnetic tail. Once all the pieces are fully cured and sanded down, it's time to paint everything using Vallejo acrylics.
Now to add some depth with some soft pastels. Seal with a coat of MSC, then for extra durability seal with a layer of Duraclear gloss varnish, this gives it a nice hard finish, then a coat of Duraclear matte to remove the shine. Add some highlights to the eyes and then coat in gloss. This is my favourite part as I think it really brings the face to life. I want them to be holding little planets, so I'm going to take a magnet, roll it into a ball of epoxy. Paint with acrylics. And seal with gloss. To create a skirt, I take a length of comb fabric, draw out a ragged shape, cut it out and add fray block, and roll up and glue the extra pieces. Then paint. For their satchel, I cut out a leafy shape from cotton fabric and hemmed the non-pointed sides. Glue together the pieces with Fabri-Tac. Stuff it to give it a nice shape. And then glue on a roll of fabric for the strap. Now it's ready to paint. some cord to mimic vines. Paint some tiny craft foam leaves. And then glue them to the vines. And now we have a spacey, leafy satchel. For the wings, I draw out a paper template, then use armature wire to create the frame. I wrap each piece in jewelry wire. This will help hold the shape, but also allow them to be poseable still. Cut out the wing shapes onto some fabric, leaving a sort of hem along the top edge. Glue together the corresponding pieces.
fill the gap in with glue. And push in the wireframe. Glue down some cord to create the veins in the wings. Then glue a strip of fabric along the outer edge to finish. Add epoxy to the joint and to the tip. And now it's ready to paint. Once dry, it's time to assemble all the pieces together. First, glue the skirt into place using the extra pieces for bulk. Then glue down the torso piece. Then attach the wings using Gorilla Epoxy Glue. This is great for big appendages as it's really strong but doesn't get brittle like soup glue. Once in place, leave to cure for 24 hours without moving. And here's the finished result. Everin, the Cosmic Fairy. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think to them in the comments.